Jesus said to his disciples, Truly I tell you, some who are standing here will not taste death before they see the Son of Man coming in his kingdom. After telling his disciples that he would suffer, die, and rise in the third day, Jesus promised he would return soon. He who testifies to these things says, Yes, I am coming soon. Amen. Come, Lord Jesus. Then, when will Jesus return? And this gospel of the kingdom will be preached in the whole world as a testimony to all nations. And then, the end will come. He promised to return when the gospel is proclaimed to all nations. The apostles and saints of the early church dedicated their entire lives to the world evangelization as they longed to see Jesus return in their lifetime. However, I consider my life worth nothing to me. My only aim is to finish the race and complete the task the Lord Jesus has given me, the task of testifying to the good news of God's grace. You too, be patient and stand firm, because the Lord's coming is near. The Evangelization of the World in Our Days This is the promise given to all of us today. In 1806, five students at William College gathered under a haystack and began to pray for world evangelization. Their prayer led to the student volunteer movement for foreign missions where 20,500 students were sent to missions field under the watchword, the evangelization of the world in this generation. The movement spread to many countries such as United Kingdom, Germany, Norway, Sweden, Denmark, Finland, Switzerland, France, South Africa, and Australia. How then has the world not been evangelized yet? First, the world lost hold of the true gospel. What is the gospel? Day after day, in the temple courts and from house to house, they never stop teaching and proclaiming the good news that Jesus is the Christ. The gospel is the teaching that Jesus is the Christ, and the whole scripture was written to have us believe this teaching. But these are written that you may believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God, and that by believing you may have life in his name. Second, the world lost hold of the evangelism that Jesus had taught us. Matthew 10, 11. Tell us to find those who are worthy. And Luke 10, 6. Tell us to find sons of peace. And Matthew 28, 19. Commands us to go and make disciples of all nations, since they are those who are appointed. Since year 2012, God led us to the global mission field. We held on to the true gospel and evangelism according to the Bible. We went to Miami in America first. Even though we did not have any prior connections in that city before, we trusted the promise in the Bible that there are indeed those appointed to receive the gospel. We shared the gospel with many kinds of people, and we ran into Cuban mission organizations. The administrative assistant there received the gospel with tears and introduced us to her church pastor. Afterwards, we held a conference targeted to Cuban pastors, and there a pastor invited us to come visit Cuba. The Cuban church is growing because of things other than the gospel. Please, come to Cuba and share this gospel. We held conferences in Cuba visited individual churches, and met representatives from various denominations. Through various means, we seek to proclaim the gospel and find disciples who receive the message. Once we find those disciples, we support them so that they can deepen their understanding of the gospel and carry out good ministry. These disciples then will spread the gospel in every region of their respective countries and find other disciples. Regardless of their church and denominational backgrounds. For instance, in our fourth visit to Cuba, we found Pastor Arnold, who received the gospel deeply. He was in charge of the mission board in the Church of the Nazarene, had established 80 churches, and served as a seminary professor. And yet he confessed to us that 
I did not preach that Jesus is the Christ. I was like the soldier who nailed Jesus on the cross. We have been supporting Pastor Arnold since then. He came to find disciples from a hundred church denominations, and those disciples are all uniting for the sake of evangelizing Cuba. In 2017, a national evangelism movement took place, where they went to find and raise up disciples in all of the 16 provinces in Cuba. According to their testimony, the gospel was proclaimed a hundred thousand times over the last two years. These disciples help with the gospel, not only their own countries, but also with other countries as well. For example, Pastor Mario Lenin from Guatemala formed an evangelism team that came to open up the doors of evangelism not only in Guatemala, but also in Nicaragua, El Salvador, Costa Rica, Belize, and Honduras. Pastor Enrique Bermudez from Colombia had earlier been in a retirement after notable ministry, but is now sharing the gospel to his country, as well as many other countries in Latin America, such as Venezuela. He did not stop sharing the gospel, even when he had to flee to Panama upon receiving threats from guerrilla forces. Both Pastor Lenin and Bermudez travel outside of Latin America in order to proclaim the gospel in Zimbabwe, Togo, and Ghana, to the end of accelerating the pace of world evangelization. We and our partners are hosting two annual conferences, the Tyrannos Conference and the Cumbre Maranatha. The Tyrannos Conference mobilized evangelists from many countries to gather in a single region, where they formed teams to share God's word and evangelize. The goal is to quickly impact the region with the gospel and make disciples. Cumbre Maranatha, on the other hand, brings leaders together to testify what has been happening in different continents and countries, and to pray and plan together for the sake of world evangelization. In April of 2018, pastors for more than 50 different countries were invited to South Korea, where they confirmed the work of God in the region and shared visions regarding evangelization of the world in our days. God is indeed bringing about world evangelization. He has opened doors to so many countries and continents and doing so even now, faster than any of us had expected. Since 2012, disciples have been mobilized from 60 countries, from all continents, and we expect the numbers to increase to 100 by the end of year 2018. We're looking forward to reaching all 240 countries and furthermore 16,000 people groups.